Where we walk to school each day Indian children used to play All about our native land Where the shops and houses stand And the trees were very tall And there were no streets at all Not a church and not a steeple Only woods and Indian people Only wigwams on the ground And at night bears prowling round What a different place today Where we live and work and play Lesson 5. The Pilgrims Many years after Christopher Columbus discovered America, a group of people called the Pilgrims came to our country. The Pilgrims came from England. The Pilgrims loved God and believed the Bible. But in England they weren't allowed to worship God the way they believed was right. So they left their homes and jobs and crowded on a small ship called the Mayflower and sailed to America. The first thing the pilgrims did when they arrived in America was pray. They wanted to thank God for bringing them safely to a place where they could freely worship Him. They landed in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Here in Massachusetts is where the pilgrims settled. They had to build houses right away because winter was coming soon. It was very cold. They did not know if the natives would be friendly or not. The pilgrims did not have much food. Many pilgrims got sick and died that first winter. Finally spring came. God sent friendly Native Americans like Samoset and Squanto to help the pilgrims. Squanto taught the pilgrims how to fish and plant crops. In the fall, they had a big harvest and gathered in the crops. They invited their friends the Native Americans, and celebrated the first Thanksgiving together. They celebrated for three days. Years later when Abraham Lincoln was president, he made Thanksgiving a national holiday. Oh beautiful for spacious skies for Lesson 6. Blessed by God. We love to go to church and Sunday school. We love to learn Bible verses. In America, we are able to go to the church we choose to attend. In some countries today, people do not have a choice. God has blessed our country. Missionaries from our country have gone to other lands to tell people about Jesus. Many Americans give money to send the missionaries out. Our money says something very special on it. All of our pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and dollar bills say, In God we trust. We need to pray that more people in our country will trust God. Let's pray that when we grow up, we won't forget his house and his word. Lesson 7. Native American 
Because the word native means, of an original home. One way to describe the people who lived in America first is, Native Americans. America has always been their home. Let's look at the many different kinds of homes of the Native Americans. If they lived in the Northeast or on the East Coast, they probably lived in a longhouse. A longhouse is a large house covered with tree bark or wood. More than one family usually lived in a longhouse. In the Southeast, Native Americans lived in chickies, huts built on poles off the ground. The roof of a chickie was thatched, made from grass tied tightly together, and it did not have any walls. This helped them stay cool in the hot and humid weather. The Midwestern Native Americans lived in wigwams which were huts made from animal skins, leaves, or tree bark. Native Americans that lived on the plains used teepees for their homes. Teepees are tents made of long poles with animal skins wrapped around them. Teepees could be moved from place to place. Adobe houses and cliff dwellings made of mud and straw were the homes that the Native Americans of the Southwest lived in. Many of these homes were built into the side of a mountain like an apartment complex. Wikiups are similar to wigwams. They were the kind of home that was lived in by the Pacific Northwest Native Americans. Some Native Americans hunted for deer and wild turkey. Others hunted for moose and buffalo. If they lived near water, they caught fish to eat. They gathered fruit and nuts from trees. Some Native American tribes also grew vegetables. When the pilgrims and other settlers came to America, Native Americans taught them how to make canoes for going down rivers. Native Americans also showed these new people how to grow vegetables such as corns, potatoes, squash, tomatoes, peppers, and peanuts. Many Native Americans traded or bartered with other Native Americans or settlers to get what they needed. They did this because they did not have money like we do today. There were many Native Americans who helped the settlers when they came to America. Pocahontas helped the settlers in Virginia by bringing food to them. Pocahontas probably lived in a longhouse, like many Native Americans who lived in that area of the country. She also made sure that there was peace between the Native Americans and the settlers. Her father, who was a great Native American chief, promised that there would be peace between the settlers and Native Americans as long as Pocahontas was alive. Settlers who came to America taught the Native Americans many new things, too. There were three crows sat on one tree, oh Billy McGee, Billy McGee. There were three crows sat on one tree, oh Billy McGee, McGaw. There were three crows sat on one tree, and they were black as crows could be, and they all flapped their wings and cried. Caw, caw, caw. And they all flapped their wings and cried, Billy McGee, McGaw. Said one old crow unto his mate, Oh Billy McGee, Billy McGee. Said one old crow unto his mate, Oh Billy McGee, McGaw. Said one old crow unto his mate, What shall we do for grub to eat? And they all flapped their wings and cried, <coughs> And they all flapped their wings and cried, Billy McGee, McGaw. There lies a horse on yonder plain, oh Billy McGee, Billy McGee. There lies a horse on yonder plain, oh Billy McGee, McGaw. 
There lies a horse on yonder plain Who was by some cruel butcher slain And they all flapped their wings and cried And they all flapped their wings and cried Billy McGee McGaw We'll perch ourselves on his backbone Oh Billy McGee, Billy McGee We'll perch ourselves on his backbone Oh Billy McGee McGaw We'll perch ourselves on his backbone and have a feast all of our own. And they all flapped their wings and cried. And they all flapped their wings and cried. Billy McGee McGaw. Lesson 8 Alaska. Alaska was the 49th state to join the United States. It is also the largest state. Its name even means great land because Alaska is so far north. There are only two roads that connect Alaska to the rest of the United States. One of them, the Alaskan Highway, is very long. It starts at the northern border of America and goes through Canada into Alaska. It would take about 23 hours, almost all day and all night, to drive the entire distance. Even though the land of Alaska does not touch the mainland of the United States, it is still a part of our country. It gets very cold in Alaska. There can be lots of snow, too, but that doesn't stop many people from living there. The Inuit are one group of people who have lived in Alaska a very long time. Years ago, the Inuit lived in tents made of animal skins during the summer. In winter, they built igloos, small shelters made of snow blocks. Today, many Inuit live in small villages and cities. The Inuit learned how to stay warm in cold temperatures by making clothes from the furs and skins of animals like polar bears, seals, and caribou. Even today, Otto's heavy parka keeps him warm when he plays outside. Otto enjoys riding on a snowmobile when he goes to school or on errands in the snowy months. Many people used a dog sled team to get where they needed to go. Some people even began racing dog sled teams. The Iditarod is a race that is over 1,150 miles long. It can take from 9 to 13 days or even longer for some dog teams to finish it. You can see many different kinds of animals like moose, whales, seals, polar bears, grizzly bears, and even bald eagles. Many of these animals live in the national parks in Alaska. One of the parks, Denali National Park, has the highest mountain in North America. Denali means, the high one. Many people like to go hiking or backpacking in the national parks. Sometimes at night, you can see some very beautiful lights shimmering in the sky. They are called the Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights. You can see these lights very well because Alaska has very long nights and short days in the wintertime. During the shortest days children go to school, play at recess, and ride home in the dark. Summertime is just the opposite with very long days and very short nights.